Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. Testing. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. Car, the camera's doing it.
Good morning, parents, friends, and the class of 2023. As we gather here today, we realize we realize we have come a long way and waited a long time for this moment. We want to say thank you to our parents, families, and teachers and administration for making today possible. Classmates, we would not be who we are today if it wasn't for having each other to help us get through these past couple of years. I am so humbled and honored to be standing in front of all of you today to say we have made it. We have accomplished so many great things in our time during our years here at Claysburg Kimmel. We have formed some incredible friendships. I hope we can look back and remember all the good times together as we are about to step into a new world. We will learn new responsibilities and face new challenges. Our lives and stories are not over. It is just another chapter in the book that will go on forever. I hope you all do remarkable things in your life, whether you're heading off to college, joining military, or heading straight into the workforce. I hope you live your life to the fullest and look back at the challenges you face to say, I am here and I'm alive. Whether you're feeling down on yourself or think no one is there for you, always remember that you matter and that you are important. Don't ever compare yourself to others or what they have. No matter what life you were given, always be thankful. I would like to share two quotes with everyone that inspired me. From an artist named J. Cole, there's no such thing as a life that's better than yours. This quote is just a simple reminder to never compare yourself, to never compare your life to anyone else's. There's no, there's no comparison between the sun and the moon. They both shine when it's their time. Another quote I found by Ralph Waldo Emerson, a poet and philosopher. Do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. Classmates, congratulations. It is now time to see our own stories unfold with this new chapter of our lives. Please join me in a moment of reflection and prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for our families, teachers, and friends who have guided, supported, and loved us. We thank you for the countless memories we have made with each other as we celebrate a step forward into new places with new people and new experiences. Let us not forget the blessings that follow behind us. Please keep us all safe. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Gentlemen, please remove your caps and join me in saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Good afternoon, fellow classmates, family, friends, and distinguished guests. It is my honor to welcome you to the Claysburg Kimmel High School's 102nd commencement ceremony. I would also like to welcome the audience joining with us on the live stream. But before I begin, I would like to thank Principal Kasich, Superintendent Lauks, our school board members and faculty for believing in us throughout our high school careers and making this day possible. I would also like to thank our families, friends, and guardians that supported our dreams and futures. To all of them who listened to us when we were angry, hugged us when we were sad, and laughed with us, or sometimes at us whenever they could, I just wanted to say thank you. To each and every one of you, thank you for being my friends, but most importantly, my family. All of the friendships i would made throughout high school, I will cherish for a lifetime. I don't know everything, but what I do know is that I'm so proud of each and every one of us and how far we've come. Your support means the world to me, and I truly appreciate all of you. 
for my family. Thank you for everything. I love you all so much. Family is a gift worth more than anything I can imagine, and you are the most incredible family I could ask for. Thank you for always loving and supporting me. To the class of 2023, today is a great day. A day you have waited for since you entered kindergarten 13 long years ago. For some of you, it's waiting to get you. Ooh, Wendy. <laughs> for some of you, it's waiting to get out of school and get on with your life. For many others, high school graduation is just the next step in your education. You're probably headed to a university or a community college or military. But for all of you, as you return the caps and gowns you're wearing today and take your tassels and diplomas home, remember this. There's always gonna be another mountain and we're always gonna wanna make it move. It's always gonna be an uphill battle, but sometimes we're gonna have to lose. It isn't about how fast we get there and it isn't about what's waiting on the other side. It's the climb. And with that, it is my honor to welcome each and every one of you to the 102nd commencement ceremony. And to the class of 2023, we finally did it. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Hello, family, friends, peers, teachers, and staff. I want to extend my gratitude to each and every one of you here today to being here to witness this special moment with our class, the class of 2023. As we celebrate all of our hard work, determination, perseverance, big dreams, adversity, and challenges we've overcome to get us to this point. My fellow classmates, the day has come. As surreal as it seems, there have been many moments in the past few weeks where I've asked my family members and loved ones, is this real? But today, standing in front of all of you, it has finally hit. It is real. We leave today, Claysburg Kimmel, the place that many of us have spent the last 13 years together making memories that will last, that will last us, last a, us lifetime. a lifetime. As we graduate, As we, graduate we, now we now go off, go off to, make to make memories of our own. Of our own. All, the while, All the while, the memories, the memories we made here at CK, CK will, will last, forever. last forever. They are not, they lost. Are not lost. The Friday, the Friday night, night lights cheering on, cheering our, on our home team in the Old Bulldog, in Old Bulldog Stadium. Stadium. The art room, the art room karaoke, karaoke and Michael and Jackson, Jackson Monday's, Monday's Cruzy. Cruzy. Waiting for Waiting your crush for to walk down the hall past you on your way to that period. Laughing with our friends so hard that it hurt. The pep, the pep rallies when we played Sweet Caroline, Sweet Caroline with, the with the band, and we all got to, to sing along. Hoping, Hoping every, day every day and every and picture day, picture day that Mr. Dale, Dale Manning would make would sure, make you, sure got you got your good angle. The surprising, the surprising friendships were in, in the most unconventional, most unconventional ways. ways. Walking down Walking the hall, saying hi to all of our upper and underclassmen friends through the years. Mr. C's, Mr. C's Free Day Friday, 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 of course, and screaming and, screaming and fireball, and fireball at, the at the top of our lungs, lungs every homecoming, homecoming and prom, and so on. And so on. These are just These some, are just of, some the of the moments and memories, moments and memories that made us, that the, made individuals us the individuals that we, that we are today. The memories, the memories that we will someday, we will someday tell, our children, tell our children about. I recently I read a quote from, from, from an anonymous source that further made graduation with you all feel too real. It's stated, it's stated one day, one day all, of us all of us will get separated from each other. From each other. We will miss we will our miss conversations, our conversations of everything and nothing and the dreams, and the dreams that, we that we had. Days, days months, and years, and years will pass by until this until contact, contact becomes, becomes rare. rare. One day, one day our, children our children will see pictures and ask, who are these, who are these people? And we will smile, we will smile with, with invisible tears, tears because the hardest touch with a strong word. And you will say, it is with them that I had the best days of my life with. We have been we through, have a, been lot through a lot together. Wherever, Wherever we, end we end up, we will always, we will have, always have these senior memories, memories to look back, to look back on. This, this, this is a memory, this is a memory that, that I'm always, always going to remember, gonna remember and, never and, forget. and never forget. Just when I thought I was ready to graduate, until obviously, until obviously the, time the time of graduation came, I realized, I realized that, now that now I would give I would anything, anything to turn back to turn back for just five more minutes. I can't, I can't wait to see where, to the, see future where the future takes, takes each and every, each one, and every of us. one of us. It's only just it's the, only beginning the beginning of our exciting futures and the beginning of the beginning of our dreams and creating the lives we've always dreamt about. Dreamt about. And, with that, and with that, I pray that I pray God reveals his great plan and purpose for your life and direct you all onto such a great path. 
while our paths all, all may be different, be different in one way or another, there's, there's an anonymous quote that I want to leave you with today that Chelsea, that Chelsea had, also had, also had also mentioned. Do not follow, do where, not the follow where the path may lead, but go instead where there's no path and leave a trail. Class of 2023, it has been a blessing getting to grow close and know all of you. Thank you. Thank you. As most of you may know, I first came to Claysburg during my 10th grade year of high school. As I transitioned into a new environment, school, friend group, I had to learn, had to, learn to go and taking risks. Taking, risk. taking, taking a can risk can be defined as doing something that may result in loss or, or, failure. or failure. I know looking, I know at, this looking at this definition, it may seem scary, scary or crazy to ever step out of your comfort zone and take a risk. But the one reason taking risks make it worse, well, the risk is because of the possibility of success. If no one if ever no dared to take a risk, take a risk we would not have the freedom, the freedom and, and the rights that, that we have today, today or even smaller, even smaller things, things like airplanes, like airplanes Apple, Pay, Apple Pay, or even Facebook. Or even Facebook. The point I'm trying to get across is that life is that simply too short, too short to not have the will to, to take risks. Risk. If we look at the, world, the world, today, world today, we are in, we are in just three years, just three ago, years ago, we didn't even we know if we would ever return, return to our normal, to our, our normal, our definition of normal, of being able to, being able to go, go, to school, go to school without, without, without wearing masks or going to our favorite sit-down restaurants. Life is always changing and evolving around us, and if we don't take risks, even simple ones like moving schools, we all might be stuck in some boring desk job instead of pursuing our dreams. A famous quote I've heard many times throughout my life that has always stuck with me is the only thing we have to fear is fear itself by Franklin D. Roosevelt. Even though this quote may be short and simple, I truly, truly believe living by those 10 words will make all the difference in life. At this time, I would like to thank a couple people in my life who have helped me step out of my comfort zone. First, I would like to thank my parents who always encouraged me to be the best version of myself and have always been there for me. To my brother and sister, I want to say thank you for being in my life even when you annoy me. To my friends, thank you for making some of these past few years, some of the past years of my life, for allowing me to become one of the guys. I will never forget the memories all the memories we have made together, like Shiv and Gavin Ted during football season or hot tub party at Ethan's house. Finally, to my classmates, when I look at each and every one of you, all I can see is a bright future ahead. So my fellow so classmates, as we end as this chapter, end chapter in, our lives, in our lives, we start new we ones. Start new may it be the workforce, the workforce college, college, or even taking, or a, gap taking a gap here. While in this, While new, in chapter, this new chapter, never forget, never each, forget other each other or the memories, or the that, you memories that you have made today. today. Thank you. Thank you. Years of, six years of our lives, we have created we have memories and friendships that will last us a lifetime. Along with that, Along we have gained the knowledge we need to go into the world and do something with our lives. Our lives. At times, we at all times struggled in school, school, whether it was not studying enough for our anatomy for final or procrastinating, or procrastinating over a POD assignment. assignment. We, have we have all been fortunate enough to have teachers who genuinely cared about each and, each and every one of us and who wanted to make us better people for when it came time for us to walk through the high school halls one last time. I hope when I say that, that every person here can think of at least one teacher in their lives who is that person for them, who made school a little easier each day. I would like to recognize, would like all, the recognize all the teachers and staff, and staff at Cleese for Kimmel High School. School. Without, their, Without their ongoing dedication, dedication the, class the class of 2020 would not be graduating, not be graduating, today. graduating today. So again, so thank, again you. thank you. Each year, the senior, Each year, the senior class, class awards one, awards one teacher for teacher of the year. Teacher of the, year. Of the, year. the class of 2023, class of 2023, has, 2023 has voted to award the teacher who the teacher always joked around, joked around with us, gave us extra freebies on tests because he knew we really needed them, and was always there to listen to us, even if we were just trying to waste time in class. I am honored to congratulate Mr. Burgess for being voted as the 2020 Teacher Appreciation Recipient. Mr. Burgess has influenced us all at some point during high school, whether it's during driver's ed class, history, or just passing in the hall every day on our way to class. It is a privilege for me to present this year's Teacher Appreciation Award to Mr. Burgess for his graduating Thank you.
Seniors, see if you can remember our motto, class motto. It's not May yet. yet. Yeah, but it's not May anymore. Um, congratulations, you have made it, uh, as we've heard here today. And, um, you know, senior-itis usually bites seniors pretty early in the fall. And uh, so the motto right away was, it's not May yet, meaning they couldn't quit, they couldn't give up. Usually by May, senior classes start fighting with themselves, with their parents at home, with teachers. Everybody's just kind of ready for them to take the next step. Uh, these seniors, um, in all my years here, is one of the, they're one of the nicest, most pleasant, and respectful group of students we've ever had. Um, they, there was there was really no drama, no fighting. At least here in school, parents may uh, say otherwise, um, but. Uh, you know, that's a tribute to the parents and family sitting here today that raised them. So um, congratulations, seniors. I thank you for this recognition. I wish you good luck and God bless you and your families moving forward. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I'm a little more... Uh, excited about the wind because it's getting warm down here. Uh, I want to welcome everyone to Bulldog Stadium, as our seniors have said, to our 102nd annual commencement ceremony. A couple of notes regarding today's events. Firstly, um, particularly for our two seniors on the team, but congratulations to our Class A District 6 champion softball team with their 11-5 defeat of West Branch last week. They'll be playing on Monday at Central Cambria. First pitch time is four o'clock. Make sure Bulldog Nation gets out there to support them as best we can. Our cap toss this year will take place at the 50 yard line on the Bulldog. So everyone gets the chance to actually see it. You won't even have to move. We can stream that for everyone to see. So we'll do that at the conclusion of our ceremony today as well. Seniors, I'll speak to you in a, in a couple minutes about that word opportunity. Uh, Yard signs on Athletic Drive as you came in. They are yours to take with you. Michelle Geyer, thank you for putting all the work in to get those things completed. Please, on your way out, take your yard sign with you. And the parade will be at approximately 11.30 a.m. this morning. It will proceed down Bedford Street, over to Arden Street, so we don't go across the construction zone, over to Catherine, and then it'll finish at the community park. Uh, before I get to some other thank yous here, we have an award we're gonna give out this year. Had to keep it under lock and key. This is the 2023 Legacy Award. It is to our behind the scenes guy, guy that controls a lot of things that you never see, uh, but he's involved quite a bit. In fact, he and Mr. Halsell kind of started CKTV a number of years ago. The quote on the plaque here, and it, and it makes a lot of sense for this gentleman, is the power of someone's life is the story they leave behind. And this gentleman will leave a, a great story here. He's been here a long time. He's a huge help to everything we do here. The 2023 Legacy Award is going to Mr. Jerome Dodson. Jerome, thank you so much for everything you do. Um, again, in sincere, genuine uh, thanks, he's, nobody really knows how much he really does for this district. I wanna thank the teachers and school staff for making 2022, 2023 an incredible second year for me at Claysburg. That's my selfish uh, appreciation for them. Um, but if I didn't thank them all at this ceremony, there, there's something wrong with me. They work really hard. We have a great staff and I appreciate all their efforts they give to us. Our, our school is truly a special place and unless you're here, you don't know. And it's because of those individuals, our teachers and staff, uh, obviously Mr. Burkett being appreciated by our senior class, but him and all of his colleagues, we really appreciate everything you do every day for our kids. I also wanna thank our administrative team, our board of directors, and our Education Foundation, they continue to support our kids throughout the year. Uh, regarding today's ceremony, I have numerous thank yous also to give individually. On May 10th, we had a school board meeting and 
we were asked if we could move the graduation ceremony to the stadium because it was kind of official we could get on here. It has been a whirlwind of the two weeks, but I think we've all done a pretty good job and I wanna make sure that everybody that's really been involved with the planning gets recognized. First, Travis Finnegan and your maintenance staff for assisting with the setup in the stadium. You've done a great job getting this place looking wonderful. Uh, Mr. Dodson and Michelle Geyer, so many behind the scenes actions and planning with, with things going on. Tammy Carson and your student council, we appreciate you and your high quality H2O distribution. Mr. Raptosh, Ms. Cruz, uh, the logistical planning sessions that we thought would be 15 minutes that turn into 90 minutes each time but the implementation of those things today I think is paying off. Thank you guys so much for everything. To Sherry, Daroba, and Summer Clausen for all the office help copying and pasting, and not just on Microsoft Word, but legitimately copying papers, cutting and pasting things onto cards and whatnot. Our CKTV team, Autumn Frazier, Jaylee Swindell, and Layla Deal for coming in, doing a run through last week, and then live streaming this for everybody at home, which if the live stream is quote unquote broken, it will be recorded and uploaded at a later time, so it will be there for all of you. Officers Pat Young and Sam McClure for organizing our security measures throughout the day and throughout all their planning. And of course, to Mr. Matt Leitner for his sound expertise. We appreciate you coming in and, and taking care of us down here. My quick message to our graduates, today is your day. And I'm thinking already it's going by so quickly and the rest of it will too. Please remember all those that helped you get here, all of your teachers, your mentors, classmates, friends, family members that helped you throughout this journey also to the naysayers who said you couldn't do it because obviously you have. All those years of study, of practice, of rehearsals, of field trips, of experiments, competitions, games, testing, and more testing, and more testing, of successes, of pains, of a global it finally, finally feels, feels like a return to, as Mr. Schneider alluded to, normalcy. Today is that day where your post high school dreams can become your reality. So now, regarding that word opportunity I mentioned earlier, you're going to really have to focus yourself. Opportunities will present themselves to you every day, and you're going to have to, you're going to, have to seize any of those that life presents to you. The problem is it's sometimes difficult. You're going to have to learn to be better listeners. Reason being, sometimes opportunity knocks very softly. Also, we don't get to choose when opportunities knock, so you better be prepared when it does. As Thomas Edison once stated, opportunity is missed by most because it's dressed in overalls and looks like work. Now's the time when the graduating class of 2023, you're really gonna have to seize those opportunities and really get to work. But from what we've seen, they'll handle it and they'll do great. To the class of 2023, thank you all for a great year Congratulations and best of luck. It is at this time we would like to present the Claysburg Kimmel class of 2023. Drew Matthew Har. Taylor Matthew Doherty. Emily Elizabeth Dively.
Preston Lee Granville. Preston was also the Masonry Senior of the Year Award at our Alicia Rain Bowman. Haley May Clagan. Chelsea, Chelsea Leanne Noah. Chelsea is also the recipient of the Summer and Yingling Hetrick Memorial Scholarship Award and the M.A. Dively Book Award. Rachel Diane Kaufman. Rachel is also the recipient of the D.E. Brumbaugh Memorial Scholarship, the Claysburg Legion Band Award, the Claysburg Volunteer Fallen Firefighter Memorial Scholarship Award, the Amanda Crisp Memorial Scholarship, and the Galen P. Dylan Memorial Award. Landy Joy Crawford. Allison Nicole Becker. Allison is also the recipient of the Levi H. Walter Scholarship, the Warren C. McCarthy Memorial Award, the Claysburg Legion Band Award, and the Summer N. Yingling Hetrick Memorial Scholarship Award. I know. Emily Sue Clemens. Aaron Scott Garland. Aaron is also the recipient of the Claysburg Area Community Theater Award. Taylor Eileen Conrad. Taylor is also the recipient of the McEldowney Academic Scholarship, the Jenny Dively Gardner and George S. Dively Scholarship, the Levi H. Walter Scholarship, the MPC FBLA Award, the T.L. Dively Math Award, and the Claysburg American Legion Award. Emma Catherine Gill. We need some tissues. <laughs> Emma is also the recipient of the Claysburg Area Community Scholarship, the Claysburg Pizza Fundraising Award, and the Bruno and Lena DeGaulle Family Foundation Scholarship. Devin Alexis Croissant. Devin is also a recipient of the Broombaugh Insurance Board, and she is a member of the National Technical Honor Society. Allie Marie Dickin. Natalie Catherine Hunt. Gracie May Iker. Gracie is also the recipient of the Zach Heinisch Foundation Scholarship.
Mackenzie Irene Black. Mackenzie is also the recipient of the Amanda Chris Memorial Scholarship and a member of our District 6 champion softball team. Marissa Jolie Heinisch. Robert Joseph Schneider, Jr. Our valedictorian is also the recipient of the first Commonwealth Bank Award. Hunter Scott Nisley. Mason Ray Dively. Hunter Kendale Dale Errett. Mine too. Cole Douglas Ross Claycom. Cole is also the recipient of the Nason Foundation Community Service Award and the Jack Burkett Memorial Scholarship Award. Braydell Owen Bowman. Parker Wayne Buell. <laughs> Taylor Lawrence Dively. Nathan Ryan Delasco. Justice Kenrick Clapper. Bradley Floyd Appleman. Andrew Fagan.
Sarah Brayanne Housel. Sarah is also the recipient of the Claysburg Pizza Business Award, the Rotary Scholarship, the Amanda Christ Memorial Scholarship, the Kristen E. Onks Memorial Scholarship, and the American Legion Auxiliary Department of Pennsylvania School Award. Nevaeh Catherine Walter. Another senior member of our District 6 champion softball team. Zoe Abriana Wyant. Zoe is also the recipient of the William Roy Walter World War II Prisoner of War Armed Service Armed Forces Award and the Darla Jean Burkett Memorial Scholarship Award. Riley Paige Snyder. Brittany Caitlin Robertson. Get more tissues. Taylor Elizabeth Mowry. Taylor is also the recipient of the Summer and Yingling Hetrick Memorial Scholarship Award and the First Commonwealth Bank Award. Nicole Ann Ruby. Nicole is also the recipient of the Cove Adoptive Family Scholarship. Cole Allen Mock. Braden Garrett Wyant. Skylar Morgan Wyant. Gavin Russell Wicker. <laughs> Gavin is also a recipient of the Claysburg Area Public Library Award. Hunter Owen McDonald. Erica Rose Narotsky. Erica is also the recipient of the McEldowney Academic Scholarship, the Claysburg Area Community Scholarship, the Good and Associates Award, and the Claysburg Volunteer Fallen Firefighter Memorial Scholarship Award.
Emily Marie Weingartner. Delena Robin Malovich. <laughs> Abby Brooke Mosser. Aviana Nevea Latiri. Chase Riley Wyan. Nathan Xander Miller. Gabrielle Marie Reininger. Emily Marie Reitenauer. <laughs> Callie Elise Reitenauer. Cameron Elizabeth Lingenfelder. Derek Allen Weaver. Kendra Dawn Lockard. Gavin William Walters. Ethan Kyle Mock. <laughs> no applause, just throw money. Anthony Michael Sacatella. <laughs> Gabriel Julian Wyant. Gabe is also the recipient of the Brian Chamberlain Scholarship. Thank <laughs> you.
Caleb Claire Oaks. Caleb is also the recipient of the Arthur R. Walter Jr. Award, the Claysburg American Legion Award, and the Arthur D. and K. L. Walter Memorial Scholarship. Vincent Ray Sanders. Ladies and gentlemen, you can throw your tips in the basket up front. I'm not sure you noticed, but uh, once the students received everything that they came here for, they decided to let me speak, so pay attention. Welcome parents, family and friends, administration, faculty, Placeburg Kimmel School District Board of Directors, and most importantly, the class of 2023. Graduates, it's my pleasure to share this day with you. I may be wrong, I think, I think we already shared one milestone together. Kindergarten graduation. As I like to tell my daughter, back when she was cute. I <laughs> mean, you should have heard some of the handshakes going through a line. But we'll talk about that later. Like Pastor Blankley said last night, it all goes so fast. If you don't believe him, ask your parents. They will tell you, it seemed like a week ago, you were a proud kindergarten graduate. Fortunately, like graduating, graduating kindergarten, graduating high school is a milestone full of great moments and cherished memories. Dr. Seuss probably said it well, considering he's the best children's author of all time. Sometimes you will never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. Today, my goal is to encourage you to make this a moment and a memory you will never forget. Now, I'm not going to stand at this podium and tell you I remember my high school graduation. My high school graduation. In fact, I can't even tell you. Who In the fact, superintendent I can't even was. tell you who the superintendent was. Back then, superintendents. Back then, existed superintendents in existed in administrative offices far, far away. They only showed their faces. At they graduation. only showed their faces at graduation. They would never consider. They would never consider. Like Dressing like back and, and walking around, around Gotham and walking City. around Gotham City. Better known as our school cafeteria. Better known as our school cafeteria. I don't care what you say, those ladies are I don't tough. Care what you say, those ladies are tough. To fight crime or in my to case, fight crime or in my case, eat some extra tater tots. You get it now. You there get are it now. benefits to fighting. There are benefits to fighting. But I guess that I just made my point. But I guess that I just made my when point. When we wore a costume to school, when we wore a costume we laughed to school, and we had fun. We laughed and we Acting had fun. Acting like little kids. Acting like little kids. Excited to get candy that night. Excited to get candy that night. So many silly moments. So came many out that silly day. moments came out that day. In addition to hundreds of selfies. In selfies addition to hundreds of selfies. For that one day. For that one some day. Some of us stepped out of our shells. Some of us stepped out of our Deuces shells. Up. In our silly moments became great silly memories. Became great memories. In closing, in I would closing, like to share a poem like with share you written by Nadine Stair. An 85-year-old woman, 85 -year -old woman from, Louisville, Kentucky. from Louisville, Kentucky. When asked how she, when asked would, live her life how she would live her life if given the chance, if given the chance. Her response was something response that I hope inspires you. That I hope inspires you. Always inspires me. Has always inspired me. If I had my life to live over, if I had my life to I live over, I dare to make more mistakes. I dare to make more mistakes next time. I'd relax. I'd live her up. I'd, I'd be sillier than I've been. I'd be sillier than on this trip. I would take fewer things seriously. I would take fewer things seriously. I would take more chances. I would eat more ice cream. I would eat more ice cream and less beans. 
I would perhaps have more actual I would perhaps troubles. Have more actual and troubles. Fewer imaginary ones. And fewer imaginary you see, ones. I'm one of those people. You see, I'm one of those who people. Who is sensible and sane. Who is sensible and hour sane. Hour after hour. Hour after day hour. After day. Day after day. Oh, I've had my moments. Oh, I've had my moments. If I had to do over again. If I had to I'd do have more of them. I'd have more of them. In fact, I tried to have nothing else. In fact, I tried to have Just nothing moments. else. Just moments. One after another. One after Instead another. Instead of living so many years. Instead of living so many years. years ahead of each day. You see, I've been one of those people. You see, I've been one never of those goes people anywhere without the never goes anywhere without a, a hot water, water bottle. A hot water a bottle. And a parachute. Coat. If I could do it again, I would travel lighter than I have this time. If I had to live my life over, if I had to live my I would life start over, barefoot earlier I would in the start spring. barefoot earlier in the spring. Stay that way later in the fall. I'd stay that way later in the fall. I would go to more dances. I would go to more dances. I would dances. ride more merry-go-rounds. I would ride more merry-go-rounds. I would pick more daisies. And I would pick more daisies. So class of twenty, so class of twenty. Let's leave our thermometers, hot Let's water, water bottles, bottles spring coats, and parachutes at home. Let's make memories and that we Let's make memories enjoy that we make memories that will last forever. Thank you. 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 Students, please stand for the class presentation and remain standing for the Claysburg alma mater. Mr. Board President, I present to you the members of the Claysburg, um, I'm sorry, we're getting ahead of ourselves, the alma mater. It's what? Oh. Mr. Kasich, would you like to come up at this time and explain to me what the card you gave me actually means? <laughs> we divide by seven and they... Mr. Board President, I present you the members of the Claysburg Kimmel Class of 2023. Good morning, everyone. And good, good morning, morning everyone. everyone. And good morning, By the power vested in me as president, the power of, the me as president of the board of directors, I hereby declare you graduates of the Claysburg Kimmel School District, school district, school with, all district with, all district with all the rights and privileges, privileges, and privileges, 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 privileges there unto attached. As members of the class of 2023, of the class of 2023. you can now move the castle. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for our alma mater. Please stand for our alma mater.
it's now time for that moment where our seniors will gather at midfield. Where our seniors will gather at midfield. They've toss caps officially graduated. They've toss their caps as a class of 2023 at Claysburg Kimmel High School. Gentlemen, just to reiterate, remember, the orange signs will be on Athletic Drive. Please take them on your way up. It's about 11 o'clock right now. You're welcome to take some pictures, but make sure we're in our cars about 25 after for the parade at 11.30. You're also welcome to return and take pictures throughout the day after the parade is concluded. It's now time we'll recess and get things moving. Seniors on your feet, ushers to your place. 